Not many of you are probably thinking about the game of golf right now. I mean, after all, it is December. But as Sioux Falls real estate investor is, Rick Gorley bought the nine-hole golf course in Beaver Creek, Minnesota, just across the South Dakota border this past fall. It hasn't been open for almost 12 years. But as we show you in tonight's Eye on Kelloland, Gorley is hoping to give it another shot. This nine-hole golf course in Beaver Creek, Minnesota, is getting a mulligan, thanks to real estate investor Rick Gorley. I guess because I saw the opportunity that, um, that it's a um, good investment. Gorley, who owns several other properties in Sioux Falls, bought the golf course in October and is now in the process of reopening it to include this event center and bar. He thinks it'll be a perfect venue to host wedding receptions, Christmas parties, and other events. Between Laverne and Brandon and Sioux Falls, that, that there will be a, a, a good draw for that as well. The golf course opened in 2003, and there was plenty of excitement for it and the housing that would line the fairways. But it closed in 2007 when the economy was subpar. Then we had the crash of 07 and 08, and that killed the sale of lots and killed building construction here. And that was what put a real wrench into the financial plan of the, of the business model. Even though Gorley now owns it and is doing the repairs mostly by himself, you know, he doesn't want to operate it. Okay. He'd rather lease it to someone yeah. who is looking for it, he says, is a great opportunity. I'm going to really give somebody a great deal to come in here. And it'll be a price that basically a couple of weddings will will pay the rent. The golf course will be run separately by an outside company. Who that is, he doesn't know right now. The nine-hole course is in pretty good shape considering the place has been closed for almost 12 years. The fairways and the tee boxes are, are in wonderful condition. There's a great bed of bluegrass down there. He admits the greens need to be reworked, but that too will happen next summer. Much of the sprinkler system is in good shape, but we're finding breaks and cracks in the irrigation lines. Plus, there are 24 lots still available on the course for sale where people can build their dream homes and they have some time to do that. It won't be until 2020 that we really get the golf course open, but um, I think we'll have a beautiful course. It's a, it's a beautiful venue. Locals who we talk with share in Gorley's excitement. I had bought a golf cart back then and I still have it and I'm waiting for it to open up. Then I can, locally, I just retired, so it'd be a good thing for me. Any business that comes into a small area community helps. It puts people to work, you know, there'll be jobs available. Back at the golf course, Gorley has hired a full-service wedding planning and event design company to stage the hall, so potential business entrepreneurs can see what it could look like once they take it over, because Gorley believes this part of the business will be up and running in no time. I mean, the bathrooms are operational. The kitchen is operational. All the tables and chairs and the, and the glassware is here. Here waiting for someone who Gorley hopes will operate it efficiently enough to get it out of the rough. And Gorley says that he's hoping to find an operator for the events hall and restaurant as soon as possible. The golf course, as he said, probably won't open until 2020.